Now one of the most important gaming peripherals any PC game must have, besides the keyboard of course and their arsenal to use, is a good gaming mouse. Now Corsair lets even the most budget of all gamers have this with their Harpoon RGB gaming mouse. With its jaw dropping specifications for such a staggering low cost of just under £30 or €30, US dollars, this could be considered by many gamers as one of the best budget gaming mouses ever existed. So the Harpoon is designed for the budget market with gamers in mind, with its matte black textured finish to help provide the user with a slip free experience. And with the body being in a non-symmetrical contour design to fit naturally in your hand, which remarkably does really well considering the price tag. My hand has reasonable sized chunky fingers, did feel comfortable using this mouse, even though my pinky finger had no place on the mouse. I feel it should complement both palm and claw grip styles, favouring for the palm users personally. And it's very lightweight being only 85 grams which makes it feel like it's completely made out of plastic which does make it easy to lift and move around your mouse pad. For dimensions it's 111.5mm length and 68.3mm wide by 40.4mm high. Features Corsair standard branding on the left primary button and their sales logo on the palm wrist end which is also the only RGB light source on the Harpoon. Corsair has decided to go with some molded textured rubbers on the side which are recessed in to further improve the grip which does feel smooth to the touch, ideal for FPS gamers. The forward and back buttons are in the ideal position on the left side that do feel in the reach to press with a light resistance feel to them but to me I had to do a hand adjustment to press these correctly because they are recessed with the rubber I found that the left primary button overhangs slightly which occasionally without a hand adjustment made me incorrectly press. The left and right primary buttons use on one switches which are rated for 20 million clicks with a medium resistance feel to press. To me, they have a short travel distance and a little bit on the loud side. The scroll wheel has rubber surface and the medium click only requires a light force to press, but the scroll steps are very light, which personally I am not a fan on. I much prefer a medium to heavy steps. It does make the scroll wheel really fast though, but at the same time might miss some steps. The DPI button sits nicely just behind the scroll wheel out of the way, but is easily accessible when needed with a slight hand adjustment. For me, the only thing I, which I disliked about the button layout was the forward and back buttons being a little bit too recessed in because these are my two favourite buttons to use for prone and melee in FPS games. This harpoon is equipped with a Pixar PNW3320 optimal gaming sensor which by all accounts is a good sensor with advanced tracking and high speed motion detection which requires no calibration. So if you find your aim sucks then it's probably your fault, don't blame the mouse. DPI is from 250 all the way up to 6000 DPI, that's probably more DPI than you'll ever need to use, but we are PC gamers so that's there if you want it, and has four smooth PTFE mouse feet, one in each corner. The mouse also comes with a black non-braided 1.8 meter cable with a USB 2.0 connector with the cable being on the left side of the mouse. Jumping into the Q software remarkably has features which normally would be reserved for a much more higher priced mouse which is not normally seen on cheaper mouses. You have options here to change the polling rate to doing a firmware update. It allows you to assign actions to 5 of the 6 buttons with a range of different options from recording macros to full key remapping or even launching applications. Lighting effects allow you to select from the 16.8 million colours available with options to choose from including Corsair's lighting link for their products. You get 5 levels of DPI adjustment for your own personal preference with options to assign a colour to each one to identify while selecting on the fly with a further option to make use of a sniper setting to assign to a button of your choice and the performance tab offers not much at all. Now the real question is what's it like for gaming? Well the harpoon is simply good. After spending time getting used to the balance and weight, I had no problem using this mouse. You don't need to worry about any acceleration, the mouse was simply working with me on what I wanted to do, with a decent lift off distance around 3mm. There's no taking away the fact that this is a good gaming mouse, but by no means it's perfect. 
The mouse does feel on the cheap side when holding, the scroll wheel isn't my favourite and the forward and back buttons was a bit too recessed in for my liking causing me problems but for the price of only £30 or $30 I can look past these and give it the TKR seal of approval for one of the best budget gaming mouses currently available so guys thanks so much for watching my name's been kyle from tkr feel free to drop a comment down below and remember to smash that like button as always guys it's been my pleasure i hope you catch you all in the next video